today we're going to do a rabai mimni bin aach kojet zucchini if you're my American friends stuffed with artichokes hot plus some other things inside come back in a minute I'll show you what we're going to use hi welcome back um, we're going to use couscous for the base of the uh, of the dish artichokes hearts at och red peppers chopped parmigiana Italian parmigiana polpa chopped tomatoes and uh, ginger uh, onions and garlic these are the ones I'm going to use um, we find them here I don't know if you find them in other countries normally you've got this one we've got about three sorts this one's the same you could chop it from the top and the uh, same sort of thing but I'm going to do this one uh, here it's very simple I did these already you just get your fork take it out the pulp all the pulp comes out and it ends up like this okay uh, let's prepare the base couscous as I said very easy very versatile and lovely tasting I make it a little bit more tasting some hot water with an oxo cube and some herbs make sure the couscous is completely covered give it a little whisk around it set it aside okay, for about 10 minutes very good just uh, cover it over uh, with oxo and some uh, and a cube and some herbs we're gonna what we're gonna do now while well, we're waiting five ten minutes for that uh, we're going to start and frying the onions. do now is prepare the uh, inside. Onions, garlic and ginger. Guys, this is uh, so simple. Even the Englishman can do it. We're going to fry the onions so they're a little bit translucent. Uh, what I do with this mixture, I didn't tell you some of the insides of the marrow of the arabali, zucchini. I use it as well. Okay, in goes the peppers, the red peppers. And the polka. Chop tomatoes. Um, cook it down for about five minutes. Make sure everything's combined there. And we'll put a little bit of Italian herbs in, mixed herbs. Well, you can really smell it already. Beautiful smell. Let's cook it for five minutes. We'll be back soon. Already the smell is terrific. Okay. Now we've been cooking the mixture down for about five minutes. It's almost ready. Uh, what I'm going to do is set it aside, let it cool down a little bit. Um, the couscous, you can see, it's almost ready. It takes no time at all. Let's switch that up. What I do is uh, make a small mixture of um, olives, capers, and put it on the top of the couscous. Uh, we'll come back in a few minutes, let the mixture cool down because it's a bit hot to stuff with. It's always best um, to let things cool down a little bit. Um, and I'll show you what we do, there, how we fill them and how we bake them. We get the oven ready, 170, preheated, so we're, we're ready to go. Welcome back guys. Um, mixtures, not too bad, cool down a little bit. We can get, uh, we can use it quite good. What I use now, the option, if you like, you can put the mixture straight in and then cook it for about 20 minutes take it out parmigiana then cook it for another 10 minutes comes really nice but what i do a little touch i put a little bit of garlic butter in the bottom comes really nice and gives it that sort of creamy taste another option 
I use this um, smoky garlic. Gives it that very, very nice, little bit hot. Depends if you like um, hot sauce, if it comes out. <laughs> Not too much, just a, just a few drops here and there. Whoops, we got some extra here. Okay, so we'll put the filling here now. Put a little bit in the bottom of each one. And then we'll put the artichokes hot. Put it in halfway. I, I used a whole artichoke and, ch and cut it in half. Here in Morton we don't find them at the moment. These are from tins, but they're perfectly good. Uh, there's a nice recipe. Uh, and I think it's September time, the uh, och they call it in Mortis. Uh, they boil it with garlic and these sort of things. I don't exactly know the recipe, but it comes really nice. And the Maltese, they really like the och, not the heart, the whole plant. So and they peel it off and they eat the, the skin of it. So really, basically, just guys, like I told you, very easy and simple recipe. Fill it up as much as you can. smell from here guys, beautiful. The ginger and the garlic and the mixture of the courgettes, the arabali, there we are, they're all full now. Okay, we've got our base now, so let's move all those few things away. We've got the base, it's got the couscous ready with the um, cube, the water, and the water's been completely absorbed now. I made a little bit of mixture with a little bit of corn, um, olives, capers, black and um, green olives. So how they do is lay it on the top. And then the oven is uh, preheated now. And cover this over for the first. Give it about 15-20 minutes, you'll see by sticking a fork in the side of the courgette to see if it's, if it's okay, if it's tender to the touch. Let's put this in there. Oven about 170, 15 minutes. Okay guys, put it Back in there for 15-20 minutes, just test it, see how it's going. Um, Preheated pre oven, 170. Um, Arrow barley, marrow, zucchini. You can stuff it with anything. Uh, Maltese minced meat or pork. Um, there's a cheese mixture they put into it. Um, basically, the world is your oyster. You can do what you really want with it. So just experiment a little bit. Taste the filling before you put it in. Maybe a little bit of salt and mix you like that. This was given to me by um, an old Maltese woman. Uh, she spent a lot of time over in Gozo. And she said they buy the big uh, zucchini, um, arabali, you find it here. And she puts a whole artichoke in there with the sauce and the mixture and cheese mixture around it. It's not a traditional way, as traditional I think it's minced meat and what they do is they do it on top of the stove. They sort of boil it. So they make a mixture of potatoes and onions and that sort of thing. Then when it's finished, they, when it's stuffed, they put it on top, put the lid on and it's sort of boiling it. This way is you're getting that sort of toasted oven -y taste. I think it's a lot better. Let's come back um, 15 minutes, I'll show you what we do, a little bit of cheese on the top. Uh, these, you're thinking probably about these. Really just for show, because this is a very hard stalk. So put it on the top to display it. The last 15 minutes with the cheese, maybe 10 minutes or so, it'll cook a little bit, but it's not really for eating because this stalk is very hot. Okay, back in about maybe 10 minutes, we'll have a look how it's going. Okay, okay guys, Thanks for watching. about uh, 20 minutes, something like that. Let's have a look at it. How it's going. Wow, it smells beautiful, eh? So I do your shots so you can see it's ah, a little hot, very good, little hot. Give me a second, I'll put the camera down so you can have a quick look.
Okay, there we go, guys. Hello, Bali. The last um, 15 minutes. Let me just check it out. See if they're. They seem as if they're cold. Very, very hot. Just try the sides and that's very tender. Okay, some parmigiana. these hot things, just take them out. They last uh, 10 minutes now. Don't put the foil back on. Put it straight in, about 10 minutes, something like that. I think. Okay, put them in now for about another 10 minutes with the cheese, get the cheese melting a little bit, uh, back in about 10 minutes. Okay, okay guys, in about um, 15 minutes, I checked it a few times to see how the cheese is going. It's melted lovely. Uh, let's get it out of the oven soon. Ooh, very, very hot. Uh, so don't worry, I'll draw the, I'll lower the camera to show you. Uh, let me get something. Smell is very, very nice. And then you find the, the couscous hasn't gone dry because the juice is from the uh, arabali, the zucchini has kept it nice and moist. Let me put them here and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. I'll do a close up of the camera. The smell, terrific. Eh? Let me lower the camera a little bit and use it. Okay, there it is guys. Arubali stuffed with um, parquichocs and the mixture couscous. Let me show you inside. Oh, it's very tender. Oh, lovely. Huh? Hope you liked it. Okay, that's it. Arubali, zucchini, marrows, courgettes, call it what you want. Inside, um, we had the mixture and we had the artichokes hearts inside with the couscous base mixed with obviously olives and capers. Hope you like it. Look forward to the next video. Like you to click the notification bell. Subscribe. Thumbs up, please. Any comments, love to hear them. Take care. English man in water. See you soon. See you in the next video.